All right, so this is someone's oracle messages. I don't know who, but I've been drawn to do it for the past few hours. And uh, they're like, I don't think... They don't anticipate you watching the 2022 review. Like, it's not caught your eye yet or something. So, let's see what your overall energy is, viewer. The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance. Borrowing wisely or paying off a debt. Sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. <sighs> More cards on that to come out though. Hold one moment please. You guys tired? I feel tired all of a sudden so. <clears throat> Going to get some more fucking cards. Privileged lady. Oh, there could be somebody coming towards you. A wealthy person, wealthy woman, who is going to um, loan you something. Or maybe she's sharing your wealth with you. Her wealth with you. Or you're sharing your wealth with her. But we also have unexpected income. Toil and labor and adjudication. So, something about a court situation also. Like a settlement or a bargain. Over occupation. This is something I think you've been worrying about a lot, viewer. Because we've got messages of concern. What else do we have? Okay, I was instructed to go to a different back so that I will shall do oh, okay Whew. so energy is strong with this person whoever is trying to give you and show you these messages viewer cheerfulness <laughs> all right they need you to raise your spirits up and raise your vibration up we have consolation and constancy so yeah melancholy and frivolity so be be careful of what you're spending and uh do you all right only spending money on what is absolutely necessary like essential necessities body wash shampoo deodorant dish soap detergent i don't know that i don't know why but that's coming to mind Having a sense of melancholy. But. Yeah. It shows you're really, really. Like you are can't help but worrying about this. Viewer. And you are a fucking empath also. So they're wanting to remind you that. You know. Not all of this feeling is yours. But it's amplifying your thoughts on the matter. Anything else here? Yeah, we have malady as well. So I feel like like you're making yourself sick with worry. Or if if you don't stop this certain mindset and slow down. And I, I mentioned earlier that I felt tired. So if we don't stop and take the rest that we need. Because that guy's in the bed. Looks like he's asleep, right? If we don't stop and take the rest and rest and slow down for a little bit. Like our body is telling us to. Then this is going to happen. You're going to... The universe will put you on your ass. There we go. <laughs> we'll just put it like that, okay? The universe is going to put you on your ass, my loves. So, you can't say, I didn't warn you, okay? Um, oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Uh, belief in scarcity and a lack of uh, poverty consciousness comes to mind. I'm surprised that card didn't come out right here. Um... Surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So when I started out this venture with doing Oracle and Tarot cards, I watched a lot of different women and Oracle and Tarot readers online. And I just thought, how could I get followers? How, how would anybody even want to be? There's already so many of these men and women out there who are doing this why do 
you know, I'll just start out with family and friends. And I'll just hone my practice and practice, practice, practice. But now the world, okay. All right, guys, calm down here. <clears throat> Help me out with the message. The world is a very large place. And you might need to be reminded of that. Uh, Leanne Rhymes. I hope you dance is coming to mind. The verse that says, I hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean. So going to Google Earth and just Googling some stuff and realizing how small and how how small we are, but how huge and vast not just the universe is, but the world itself. This guy's been hiking. He's resting next to a babbling river brook there's a small bridge and there's a butterfly flying over the bridge you are almost there you guys we're not trying to give you some tough love and chastise you for what you are and are not doing it's just saying you've got to be mindful of that mindset because you're going to push it away from you the more we worry okay wow all right all right four four cards came out all together we'll take them Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. So there's another sense of needing to prioritize your health. And mm, the root chakra, yeah, the root chakra is coming to mind as per usual. But if you're impatient, irritable, angry, agitated... You don't feel safe. There's an overwhelming sense of fear that keeps coming toward you about maybe what's going on in the world or situations around you. That's the root chakra way, way, way out of whack, okay? So render just receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. So it, it, even if someone in the family isn't offering their help, by God, go in there and request it ask for it say look i really need your help in this situation i cannot do this on my own my body is depleted i am tired af and i just i need to rest so i need somebody to come in here and do these dishes i need somebody to finish the load of towels i need somebody to sweep the dog hair from all the corners or vacuum what whatever it is that you feel like you're having to go around to do that nobody will take upon themselves to do because they're not going to because they're it's not pointed out to them okay we all have different perspectives wow okay this is coming through strong you guys um horses here may be a significant but we all have different perspectives and different way of seeing things so in asking for help it's not you feel like you're putting yourself out and asking for help or there's no sense in asking for help because they don't want to or they won't help you. You've got to stop setting that intention for it and go into a different intention. She's got her hand on her heart center, so. <sighs> Surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. 828 on the timer as I look over. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Two decks are popping out. They're like, here, this one, this one, and this one. <clears throat> Raising your vibration. Dancing, certainly. Singing. Singing along to music. Drumming. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. And then we've got... Surrender your belief in scarcity. So like I was um, saying earlier, you know, my situation was I, I just felt like, why? You know, nobody's going to want to come towards me. They don't. I'm not good at what I do. You know, this was all, you know, and essentially now that I'm saying it out loud, I was manifesting for not to have the abundance and the, the people to come towards me that needs to come towards me. You are destined for something on your soul path. So whatever is going on with you, it is destined for the trials and tribulations. And it is destiny for you to receive that support and love and abundance and prosperity. And see, I had a lot of envy towards people who had bigger homes, nicer homes. I didn't realize it was envy though. I thought I was admiring things about people. 
But in all reality, if you admire a lot, it is it is it is essentially envy. Anything else here for the viewer? Now this could be this is going to be different for everybody who views this. This could be a, a home situation. This could be a work situation, school situation, job. You know. Happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So this is saying right here, okay? Surrendering to your soul's path. But if you are not happy and you are in a constant state of turmoil, inner turmoil, mental or emotional, this it, you're not on the right path. You're in the wrong direction. And pride, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So there's where that self-nurturing, self-love is coming from. Spirit guides <clears throat> were coming through, but now these are your angels that want to have a say in something. Okay. Remember I said you guys were empaths? Alright. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me to be more like you. And this is 11-11 on the timer. Oh my god, as I say that. Okay, I just got super excited, though. Um, thank you, angels, for inspiring me to be more like you. So, that's all you have to say. And they're like, hey, we got the reins, girl. We got it, or guy. We got it from here. Thank you for surrendering to your soul's path, saying thank you for surrendering to us. On the bottom of the deck, I have count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. So we're thanking them for the blessings that have entered our lives thus far and those blessings that are yet to come because they are coming. You could write out... Write a letter to God. I don't know. Maybe you're finding a lot of feathers, too. They like to send feathers. Okay. I'm going to reach way over here in this other deck. Um, my eyes just got drawn to the word galactic also. So, beyond the mind, the heart beats. So, we were saying something about dropping down in your heart center earlier, too. Getting out of that mind and going into the heart center and seeing things from the heart's perspective, not the monkey mind. But I have to show you this galactic card. This is from my past lives deck. I love how that's coming out with this one. <clears throat> is there anything else for the viewer? opportunity knocks go for it so there's going to be an opportunity of some sort it's probably going to draw you out of your comfort zone it might be like a risky thing to do you're going to have to take a major leap of faith i'm being drawn to get moonology cards too hold on yeah on the bottom of the deck expect a powerful change so they want you to hold your vision though stay steady what, uh, or maybe it's dreams or goals that you set for yourself. Or whatever. A personal issue is going to reach a resolution because the gain, the energy is gaining momentum. So hold your vision on that, okay? This was not a read or message to chastise you. It was just a friendly reminder. And for you to stay focused on what it is that you are wanting to do. Because your hard work is paying off. You might feel really lost right now. Really in a disconnect. From your spirit team. Your higher self. Your angelic team. But. Yeah. A win-win outcome is forecast. So if we have all these positive thoughts. Keeping us in line. And staying in alignment. But if you're finding yourself in senses of envy. Anger. Stress fear it's a matter of going into that heart center um yeah your commit that that card crossed my mind before i even pulled all these your commitment is being tested okay they are wanting you to surrender and receiving their support they are wanting you to surrender and in, uh into your divine inner knowing
they're trying to say something like audibly to me but I can't make it out two o'clock winds two o'clock nose on the nose two on the nose earthbound inspiration because we're, we're all earthbound for a while right now right and I just could look back over and my eye caught your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth embrace every lesson and every moment and your angels are there watching over you show the world the real you we all have magic in us oh that could be about your spiritual abilities as well show the world the real you we all have magic in us your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Anything else here? No. Okay. All right. Leave the past behind and find a balance. Find a balance. Full moon and Libra. These both these cards say full moon and Libra. So this full moon cycle really did a doozy on you mentally and emotionally and physically, but also figuring what it is you're going to do for the next full moon cycle or even the new moon cycle. Leave the past behind though. I'm not getting any more information on this, so I, I feel like they're saying you know exactly what this means. But look here, you see the rocky hills and mountains, but there is a smooth past going between them. It can be smooth for you if you let it be, if you want it to be, if you trust, you surrender, okay? Um, spiritual abilities awakening, there's some sort of ceremony. All right, and I was just talking about the full moon. So maybe there's a, a full moon ritual or some kind of moon phase ritual that you were planning on doing. Maybe you forgot about it and you didn't do it. Or you did do it. I don't know. But we've got spiritual journey. There's more cards here. Hold one moment, please. <clears throat> Prayer ceremony. Uh, wow. Okay. Accept your gifts yes viewer yes viewer okay you're feeling this sense of soul loss because you're not embracing that true inner authentic you okay prayer okay if you were big on prayer maybe you have been praying maybe you used to pray in the past something that needs to be picked up again though Spirit of the Fox. Trust your talents in changing times. Oh, okay. There's another card here for you. And enjoy growth and reap rewards. You are really growing in this time. Okay. And the balance, another balance card came out. <laughs> okay. Thank you, angels, for helping me balance my masculine and feminine energies thank you angels for helping me balance my home and work life thank you angels for helping me balance my mental and mental and physical and emotional states it's a lot of transformation you've been going through and you're going to continue going through okay this journey this healing process is not for the faint of heart you were chosen by your ancestors because they knew you'd get the fucking deed done. Okay? Roadrunner. Keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously. Why so serious? That's uh, getting back into that cheerful mode. Finding something to laugh about. Releasing it, you know. Um, letting it go into Mother Gaia. Letting her transmute those fears, worries, concerns. Take the time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members. There's another one in here, too. 
But I feel like what I was saying earlier about asking for help. Okay. The blue heron. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. Let's just put these together because I feel like they need to go together, viewer. The blue heron may have BF significant to you. Maybe that's the new bird. Maybe you were seeing owls and roadrunners before, but now maybe it's the new bird. Clean it up. Yeah. Like I was saying about releasing it into Mother Gaia. Okay, viewer? Is this all we have for them, guys? Okay, there will be more later. More to come later, they said. Okay, dears, I hope it helps. I hope it resonated. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. It's greatly appreciated. Have a night.